All of my roommates are gone. I figure I could come in here and open the roach bin and talk about these freaking bugs ad nauseum for as long as I want. This is a 64 quart Rubbermaid. It's actually in my laundry room. Um, it's dark in here. It's quiet. There usually aren't people in here. And this is a screen on top. These guys actually do, they need high humidity, but a lot of ventilation. Um, mold will kill them, which is why they need for the screen. And then usually I actually have a little paper towel here on top of it to keep the light out when um, my roommates come in. And inside the bin, doesn't look like there are that many roaches in here, but there are thousands. Um, the species of roach is called the dubia roach. And they're actually they're safe to people. They don't bite or anything. Um, as you can see, this is my colony. And you can, you can catch them. This, they don't bite. Um, they're harmless to people. They're harmless to animals. That's why they make such great feeders. Um, let me see if I can find anything interesting going on in here. Um, you'll notice a lot of my males. Males have full wings. They have kind of ratty wings. If you don't give them enough protein, they will start chewing on each other. So you do want to make sure that they have a high enough protein diet in order to avoid doing that. This is what I was looking for. Do you see this white guy down here? This little boy has just molted. Um, that's why he's white. He will eventually turn dark, just like this guy. Um, he's down there somewhere. I don't want to hurt them. Um, when they, after they molt, they're very fragile because um, their exoskeletons have not hardened up yet. But afterwards, when they molt, he'll look just like uh, this guy right here. Um, that's an adult male, and the adult females are these guys with the little shiny bodies. And you know, this is about how big they are. Um, some of my big females are about three inches. Here's a huge. Um, they're about three inches. Um, they have little spurs on their feet, so they'll hold on to things. But they can't really do anything. And even though the males have full wings, they can't climb. They can climb, but they can't fly. Um, every once in a while, if I don't latch the lid, I'll have an escapee. And actually, this is the first time I've ever seen this behavior. This guy is raising his wings a whole lot. Um, all the little babies. Let's see if I can get some more babies. They just hang out on this one, but I've messed with them. Um, they come in all different sizes. This, give you an idea, there's my thumb. It's extra small nymph, medium nymph. Um, let's see if I can find anything else pretty cool going on. Oh, somebody just had babies. Move. You see little white things running around? Yep. Right there. That is a nymph that was just born. Uh, one of the females. They, they give birth to live young, which is kind of cool. Um, they're a little bit slower breeders than other roaches are. Like lobster roaches lay egg cases and they can like pop babies out ridiculously quickly. These guys take a little bit longer to establish. Um, and I think I might actually be reaching the population density for this size enclosure. Uh, yeah, as you can see, there's a shitload of roaches in here. Um, and these guys, I think, are like the fifth in-star nymph. Somebody that's this big is an extra-large nymph. In a few, in a molt or two, they'll molt into an adult. Um, there is a way to sex um, nymphs. I've, I've looked at the sexing info 400 times, and I still don't understand how to sex nymphs. It's something to do with a band under the belly. Um, you can see just walls after walls after walls of roaches. Let me pick up one. They're, yeah, they're completely harmless to people. I don't handle the big the big nymphs, but the the little ones. I mean, they're completely harmless. I actually get them on me a lot when I'm feeding, I'll just go in here. Um, and usually the water dish is an excellent source of places to grab bugs so I don't have to go grab adults and go sort them. Um, I try not to bother the females too much because they can um, abort their ovum if they get too stressed. There's another guy that just shit. Just move through. Actually, my 
females tend to grow huge. Like, this is about the average size for my females. Um, I got females from another uh, vendor that are about half the size of my females. I don't know how he did that. Maybe he just wasn't keeping them as hot. They do need, I give my guys about a 99, 98 degree hot spot. It doesn't feel very hot to me, but it feels nice and warm to them. Um, without this, they, they will die. They can survive at room temperature, but they won't thrive. This is the water dish, there's water crystals in here because roaches are stupid and they will drown. Um, actually needs to be refilled. I need to watch the amount of water I have in here because there will, mold will form on the food, which is actually everything that's down here. All of this is a food mixture I give them, and then there's no gut loading items in here at this time. My gut load, usually I gut load with fruits or veggies, but we went on vacation and everything when we came back was bad, so when I come back, I will give them more. I wish I could find somebody mating in here. That would be kind of cool. Um, let me see if I can hunt down somebody. Oop, there's a fresh molted guy. How cool is he? Um, see if I can find any other interesting behaviors. The tape, usually you'll just see them attached kind of butt to butt and that's how you know they're mating. I'm not seeing any active mating behavior going on at this time. Let me pull one more. This female right here with the red head, she molted um, a probably a couple weeks ago. Um, that's why she looks vastly different than the girly next to her, so she's still hardening, in, hardening up. And once she's formed her escoskeleton completely, she'll be black too. Um, I see. And you can tell I have a heat pad actually back here. It's attached to the back of the tub. Actually, it's not. It's on the bottom of the tub. It's actually, this is a piece of flex flexwap. It used to be on the back. I redid their tub a few weeks ago. Um, and that's why you'll see more of them concentrated down towards the bottom. Because they can get the heat gradient that they need. They're really soft when they first molt. These guys are kind of hard. We have like a pair of those. Um, they're really fascinating bugs. They're ridiculously easy to keep. They're the set it and forget it version of feeder bugs, which is why I keep them in the first place. If they required more work, I probably wouldn't keep them. Um, mealworms are the only thing that require less work. You can keep them at room temperature, keep them in the fridge. Um, that's kind of it. Looks like an unsuspecting foray of egg crates, and then you open it up and are assaulted by thousands of bugs. Um, and I breed these. These are food for all of my geckos. Um, any, Every single one of my geckos can eat insects. Um, my bearded dragon will be able to eat every size of these once he's an adult. Right now he's at about this size nymph. I won't really give him bigger than these guys. But they are non-odorous. They do not smell. They cannot fly. The males, I have heard that they can flutter. When they are stressed, if I drop somebody from six feet in the air, they might flutter to make their impact less rocky, but I've yet to see it happen. They cannot climb smooth surfaces. The reason you're seeing nymphs on the side of the bin is because they're getting static cling. It's not actually them being able to climb. That's the reason for the packing tape. There's packing tape all around here because they absolutely cannot climb that. Uh, which is good, because you don't really want them escaping. They're not colonizing, but, yeah, I mean, I, I don't like it when they get out. Every once in a while, I will forget to lock this down all the way, and I'll have a, I'll have an escapee or two. Um, every time except for one, it has been an adult male. I've happened six times. Um, but my cats will nab him and shoo off his little roach head. Um. That about clues for the roaches. Thanks. Bye.